Hi, my name is Audrey Spaulding, and I'm a policy analyst at the Show Me Institute. And I'm Bruce Stahl, a Show Me Institute intern, and we're here at Del Taco, which has just been declared blighted by the city of St. Louis. And I'm kind of wondering why. To me, blighted brings to mind ideas of bricks falling, unsanitary conditions, uh, maybe even weeds growing in the parking lot, but none of that's happening here. Instead, customers are coming in and out, enjoying really good tacos. Um, so I'm a little curious, why was this declared blighted? Yeah, I think Bruce is asking the same question that a lot of us are wondering. How is it possible to blight a building that has an operating business in it? And the answer is, sadly, that in Missouri and in St. Louis, blighting has very little to do with the actual state of the building. Really, blighting is the first step in receiving tax subsidy. So what that means is if you want tax abatement or tax increment financing as a developer or as an owner, you have to get the local government to blight your property. The government has to declare that your property is blighted. And what has happened is that governments all across the state, including here in St. Louis, there's been this wide interpretation of blight to include buildings like this Del Taco, which is operating perfectly fine. Um, and somehow this is declared as unsanitary, unsafe, not suitable for public use. It's just, it's somehow not okay. If anything can be declared blighted, why go through this process of tax abatement and tax increment financing that can become very political? Why not instead just lower property taxes for everyone and get rid of this process since it's pretty much arbitrary?